China is sending a top diplomat to Hanoi to try to sort out the six-week-old standoff in the South China Sea. But China's foreign ministry didn't indicate there'd be much give from Beijing. The two sides will have a frank and deep exchange of views on issues of mutual concern. We hope that Vietnam keeps its eye on the broader picture, meet China halfway, and properly resolves the present situation. The announcement comes a day after Vietnam accused China of lying about whose ships are provoking trouble around a Chinese oil rig. The rig is in disputed waters near the Paracel Islands. Both countries have sent dozens of vessels into the area. At least seven people have been killed in Lahore, Pakistan, when police clashed with supporters of Muhammad Tahir ul Qadri. The anti-Taliban preacher made headlines last year, leading a demonstration against the government. The clashes erupted when police tried to remove barricades outside Qadri's residence. The barricades were set up four years ago by his supporters to protect him from insurgent attacks. We are ready to take the lives of enemies of our founder, and we are also ready to lay down our lives for our founder. Qadri is accused of being a tool of Pakistan's military. Troops of monkeys are a growing menace in Agra, a city in India's Uttar Pradesh state. They're clogging the streets, jumping on cars, scavenging for food, and they've turned downtown into their makeshift jungle, scaling buildings and perching on windowsills. Residents have installed grills on their windows to keep the animals out. Thousands of monkeys have taken over the area. People have become prisoners in their own homes. The historic Red Fort is infested. However, India's greatest monument, the Taj Mahal, is unaffected. Deforestation around Agra is driving the monkeys from their habitat. Hi, I'm Tui Vu, the host of Link Asia. Catch Link Asia every Friday on Link TV, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Check our website for local listings on KCET Los Angeles and PBS's The World Channel.